In this how-to lesson, I'm going to quickly show you the different ways you can cut using Vinyl Master. There are two distinct ways. One is auto cut, which is very fast, and the other is send to a cut file. So you have send to a cut file, send to a cutter, and they both end up in the vinyl spooler. So if I wanted to cut a job like this, I'd just simply select what I wanted to cut, and I'd click send to cutter, and the send to be cut window comes up like this. And I get some options like what cutter I'd like to choose, the media width I'm cutting on, so that's the maximum cuttable width. And you can see here that it doesn't quite fit on the media, so I'd rotate this job like so. I've got some other options here. I can set quantities, etc. And I might want to set a, a few simple options like, say, auto speed weed. And as you can see, it creates some speed weeding and these lift marks, which greatly assist in weeding. So once I'm ready to go, I can simply click the Cut Now button. And it will load that job into the vinyl spooler, as you can see here, ready to cut. And I can simply click on Proceed with Cutting, and the job's done. My cutter will start cutting out that job. So that's a very quick way to get a cut file cutting in Vinyl Master. Of course, the other thing is you might have some colours. So here we've got the same job, but it's got multiple colours. There's five, in fact. So we select what we want to cut, go to the same module sender cutter, and you can see it remembers all my previous settings. I can change my vinyl cutter, etc and chop and change the settings as I need them. But now I'm interested in colour, so I click on Separate by Colour, and as you can see as I go through these colours here, they all appear in the preview, and once I'm ready to go, I can click Spool All, or Cut Now to cut the particular colour I'm on. So right now I click Spool All, and you can see all the colours have loaded directly into the vinyl spooler, all ready to cut out, like so. And I can simply click Cut Now, and just cut out the black, and I'd load in some blue in my cutter, cut out my blue, and so on and so forth. Once I'm done, I simply close out of the vinyl spooler. The other method of cutting in Vinyl Master is send to a cut file. Now this is where you, you end up, or send to a cut document I should say. This is far more advanced and you have a lot more control and tools and features available to you when you send to a cut file. The first thing is you're presented with this simple module here where we can cut the entire document or selected pages, as so. We're only interested in the black version for the time being. So we can go off and uh, send that, and you can see it loads into a cut document. You can save this document off if you like, and you can position your artwork as you need to. In this particular case, we'd group this, and we just nest this job, and the programs are automatically set it out for us, and we're ready to cut this particular artwork. So we'd click Cut Page, and it loads into this module, which gives us more tools and features, and we can set all sorts of options in here like we could before, but there's even more in this particular module. If we go to the Advanced section, we can force the position, we can set more settings, we can trim, do all sorts of things, but there are other lessons that we'll talk about later. So click Cut Tile, and as you can see it loads straight into the vinyl spooler ready for cutting. I simply send my job to my cutter and it starts cutting. Now I'll show you what happens when you send a coloured job to the uh, to this particular module, or to the cut document. So send a cut file again, like so. You can see all our colours are available here. Now we don't have to cut all of them, we could, we could decide not to cut all of them. And we can send them to a new cut document, so it won't have anything to do with the other cut document we've created. And as you can see, I can scroll through my thumbnails here and see all the different colours, like so. So it's a very visual way of dealing with your cut files. And as you can see, as I said before, you can simply position where you want to cut your artwork and it will cut exactly where you've positioned it. So this gives you far more tools and features. I can either cut all or cut the page. So if I just cut, a, cut this page, it will just send that particular page. And I can click Cut Tile, it'll load into the vinyl spooler, load my orange, click Cut, and off my uh, cutter goes. If I wanted to cut all these colours, click Cut All, and you can see all the colours appear here. And I've still got all my options, of course. I can rotate things by 90 degrees and uh, manipulate the cut file the way I want it to cut on, the, on my vinyl cutter. And I send all my jobs th uh, through to the cutter here, and I have some other options. For example, I can um, rotate, and I can nest, as you can see here. I'll nest this red colour, and it automatically rotates it to save uh, media. I can also use Auto Save Media, which also uh, reduces the amount of media you use when you're, uh, when you're cutting out your artwork like so. So I click Cut Now, click my black, close out of the spooler, 
and that's just generally how you uh, send cut files to your um, your vinyl cutter. You've got three options there, and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.